Hello and welcome back to Council Master Barliman the Mighty, schooling orcs in the art of war. For that is indeed what we seem to expect every time around. This will be the largest assault on Balder Town to date. Captain Zognak comes with the best troops but also the worst morale. And then comes Muzbag with slightly higher morale but slightly worse troops. So. It's a toss-up. Who do you think actually will get to claim the stewardship of this land? Well, hmm. We shall hope Balderman retains it. That's for sure. And that is the plan. Ah. For fear of my tea growing cold during the battle, I shall refrain from uh, actually pouring it up. I'll I'll do that after the battle because this might be a slightly long one. <laughs> we have two large armies that have to make their way in and around this mountainous mountainous settlement. First thing to do as we used to set up the catapults. I will try to put them on flaming shot for now. With the results of last battle still relatively fresh in mind, it will be interesting to see how this one compares. Ooh, how about some fighting indeed? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's keep you guys together, actually. Let's put you together with more gatekeepers. Why not? Uh, I see why not, because, of course, that will kind of shortchange them all. But we can put these ones over there. And then keep these ones over here. Because here they have a far more benign slope against which to fire. I think... If we put them, um, you know, angles with crossbows, angles are everything. <laughs> and to be honest, speaking of angle, we don't want Parliament to be so close to what are likely to be trolls, very angry trolls. Now we have bowmen, and we have lots of them. We are used to having but two units of them, but now we have several. So I'm thinking, first of all, we'll put some folks behind the ballistae. They should be able to fire over them. And then we have the Watchman Bowguard as well. Have some cavalry. Who will be an addendum to everything, to be honest. Hmm, okay. Watchman Bowguard. Let's place our catapults close together. You know what? Yeah, the catapults can come back just a just a hair. The siege can in general, I think. Just want them to be. We want the archers to be just in range of the gate. Just in range of the gate. Yeah, that's good. And move you guys slightly back as well. From there, you sh everyone should have a clear shot of the gate, and they do. But, but the long beard crossbows have, once again, changed place with Parliament, which we do not like. We want to be careful of that. <laughs> so let's group all our archers up into a fourth team here. Make sure they're not running away for anything. All Ballastai, same team. And let's keep you on fired war mode for now. Pikes! Well, hmm. Use whatever weapons you can master. Indeed. That's what we shall do. Mm-hmm. So we keep... 
our best melee troops in there and then I think let's use our merchant infantry on the flanks like this now we have some lumbermen who can be run in at a moment's notice Come on. No? You just refuse. Flat out refuse. Okay. That's gonna have to be good enough and then we'll put you like that. Good. And uh catapults, let's not fire immediately. Your rounds are quite precious indeed. The ballastite I am more happy with shooting off right at the start because yeah, setting ablaze the ram would be a nice way to begin this battle. Let's see if our crossbowmen manage to shoot well. If they do, we'll keep them at it, and if not, then, well, we won't. It's that simple, everybody. Okay, um... I'm not terribly impressed by what our ballista crews are doing at this point. Maybe we should just save them for now. Yeah, let's do that. Who knows, we might even risk hitting our own gate. That would be embarrassing. And let's just, generally speaking, keep our arrows Curses. out of this for now. Down our gates. But, 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 I have some trolls over there. Oh, they're just out of range. Hmm. Here we have a marauder unit, but it's not the general. We would be interested in getting the general, but here he sits. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to get to him for a while. And those trolls, come on. A bit closer, a bit closer. Don't you want to come into ballast the range? Okay, let's um, let's see if we can shoot some orcs. Generally, some striders, perhaps. their eyes the enemy's ram is through our gate okay I guess this will be it time to fire the enemy have the walls look to our defense or all okay will be lost. this is when the trolls will come into play Can y anyone hit that dog will do a host? Yeah, please do. And when we can hit the trolls, which is now. Then we want all of our siege to focus on the trolls. Oh, Striders, Caught and Pikes. What a wonderful sight it is. Okay. Dwarves, start aiming for those trolls as well. Every crossbow we have, start aiming for the trolls. Oh. Uh, you're not hitting them very accurately, please. Oh uh, dear. Catapults. Okay, okay. First troll down, second troll down. Yeah, they're gonna go down. They're gonna go down. It's only a matter of time. Ooh! The carnage has begun, my ladies and gents. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Right there, right there. That was a one percenter. 
Um, Cobb and Striders coming into view. Woodland Hunters. Shoot that general down. Lumberman. Halt those trolls in their tracks, please. The enemy general abandoned. Oh, yes. Ten percent of this army, which means, uh, or of the the entire Dolgodur force today, which means m perhaps about twenty-two, twenty-five percent of this army, and I do like those numbers. We'll keep aiming for the heaviest bits of their number, where we do the most damage. Oh yes, that's another troll down. It seems. Do they have any trolls left? I do not think they do. Okay, it might be time though to activate our merchant militia. Go on. Yeah, that's why they uh, stopped moving. Changes in the course of battle. What do we have here? Almost certain. <laughs> A pike militia that is being decimated by their own siege, but it is. A price worth paying. Oh, and that general is just running away. Okay, good. Oh, this is good. This is good. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, this is excellent. Oh, this is excellent. If we keep this going, I mean, seeing how far away the enemy are, the enemy reinforcement army is, we will be able to route this. I actually think we can do that now. So all all missiles stop shooting. All melee start beating. Please. Defensive stance. Ironically enough, we're going to use it for offensive purposes. Let's see if we can get them to rout. We have taken 50% of their army and their general has run away. I mean, I assume he still is. Yeah, good. Come, let us rout these orc filth. Um, ah, we can still shoot some more, I guess, but at least with the crossbows. Just to keep pressure on them. Come together, my friends! Yeah. Cavalry, um... What's happening here? Oh, hello. That's a case for our cavalry. Come on. Overrun them if you can. That's good. This is looking pretty good. I like this. We still have most of our ammunition for the siege. Uh, or am ammunition in general. Which means that we are well prepared for the next wave. And the next wave will be less substantial, I think. At least in some ways. There'll be more troops, but they will be tired. And they have inherently worse morale due to their lowest quality overall. They'll be led by an actual general this time, which might cause them to hold out slightly longer. But I wouldn't keep my hopes high for them. There's the general. Marching along. Okay, okay. Yes, and they're running. Ha. Lovely. Team three. Cease fire. We have lost the pikes. But our merchant militia can uh, form up. Yeah, dwarves, you don't need to exert yourselves. 
Neither does the merchant infantry, really. I think this is for the cavalry to... And maybe the lumbermen to pursue. Hello, walk marauders. You are not ready to meet us, I would submit. Set up on either side of the gate. Prepare for the arrival of our most hated foe. Well, the flees the field. Yeah. And run them down. excellent. The enemy army is gone. And this is a nice opportunity to get our cavalry out the door and out munching some troops. Lumberman? I like the position you had as a bit of a, a buffer in the beginning. So let's keep to that one. Let's stretch out these uh, merchant infantry lines. But in a sensible position. Good man. Thank you. We'll keep you... You know what? Let's keep you on a loose formation. What drugs are you on? That is nowhere near where I told you to stand. Oh well. So, 36% of the uh, enemy is taken care of. Goodness gracious. But, uh, sh 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 <laughs> what are... You guys, you guys, you guys. Is this PTSD kicking in? What's happening? Huh. Come on. Do good by your country, by your nation. There's an enemy coming. And I'm not sure they're interested in taking prisoners. Greenway Riders, you can just walk over to the other side of the gate. Mm, yeah, this is how we're going to petition our forces. It is all looking good, though. I like it. I like it. Don't mind me, don't mind me, just proceed straight. The entrance is right this way, right this way, right this way, good folks. Don't mind us, we're just the doormen of, uh, of Barley Town. Welcome to the amusement of your lifetime. You are about to undergo a verifiable thrill ride. Hmm, hmm. They just come in the longest and most depressing column ever conceived by Orc. Which is saying something. But some of them are stuck over here. What's going on? Huh. It's weird. Will we have to hunt them down? Is that going to be a thing? I guess I will if needed. But, um, yeah. So... Time to shoot some wargs. Hello, wog marauders. So there we go, and then you just uh, fight the scraps. They should be easy pickings for our boys. Go on. Lumberman, help them along. Apparently it is needed.
Here comes the real army. Are you ready for the fireworks, good folks of the internet? I am. But I'm not sure Dolgaldur is. Despite having had many opportunities to prepare themselves mentally for what is about to befall them. Good tidings. The enemy oh! The general is dead already! Oh, oh goodness! So much for their morale! Goodness gracious, look at that! It's just a sea of flame and death. <laughs> I mean, have I even given them a proper chance? Archers, you need a chance as well. Come on, join the fun. Join the party! Okay, okay. Join the fun! Everybody! Oh, hello. Look at that. Got some trying to move over into the flank. It's a very interesting proposition there. Very interesting indeed. But uh, the merchant militia is here, and we shall absolutely take out anyone willing to impede the freedom of our market forces, if you will. Yeah, they're not gonna like this. What do we have here? Routing troops, routing troops. Greenway cavalry. The feet seems this one is for you. For the moment, the fortune Man, look at this, just 127 maulers, just running like that. Such. If we continue like this, we you know, for a moment them. I thought this battle might actually be challenging. <laughs> Only half the enemy force remains. But Dolgaldur seems to seems quite determined to, uh, obstinately so even, to prove otherwise. Okay, uh, I guess it's just time to route them. Once again. This is what we're gonna do. Team 6. Seal the deal, if you will. Okay, Green Bay Riders. Punch where you can. There's some toggle to a host standing over there. If we continue like this, we will we want, We would perfectly like them to not stand anymore, please. Thank you. And then we have archers over there. Have their residual doldrums started moving along? Yes, yes, the dollards are coming. The dollards are coming! The dollards are coming, everybody! So, assemble. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. you have an astute sense of observation, good commenter. Um, what do you have here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merchant militia, stand by. I mean, surely Dolkultur must by now see that their mission is folly. Surely. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Longbeards, route the stalkers, please. Thank you. Goblin headhunters? Well, hello. The Greenway sends its regards. Boom. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. There we go. Two more units routed. Longbeard tournament. Go for the archers. And the Greenway will follow. Lovely. Get ready, dwarves! One more unit of archers. Yes, yes, that is how lucky we are. Goody, goody. Ah. 
Come on, guys, come on! Or you'll miss the clock! I think I'm gonna pull my tea now. Good! Charge! And charge! And the uh, green wave! The battle is very much charge. in favour! Behold how our and they are routed. Runs. Let's just run these down and then we're done. Four experience points gained for the Green Way Riders. Lovely to see. I think we're done here. Our foe <laughs> is utterly vanquished. Uh, Let all who remember this day, remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Lumberman, 153. That's really good. Catapult, 418. Yes, I think that extra splash damage really does help a lot. Um, Ballastai also doing, uh, pretty good. 217, 136, you know, every one of them above 130, which is really good. The Bogart doing a s fine, stable job as they usually do. Woodland Hunters, 99. Um, 128th of the Woodland Hunters over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are not to, uh, they are not to be discounted. No, 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 no. And the gatekeepers, of course, doing a, also a nice steady job. 161 for Parliament's troops and 147 for the others who lost three but healed them in the process. So that's nice. I I mean, I like these stats. I like these stats. And uh, the Lumberman, oh, Jesus, 651 caught by the Greenway Riders. Well done, chaps. And so, with a lovely black flower scented tea, I salute ye, all who follow these little adventures that we have. In these victory melodies, we hail, sing, and share. Is this the final battle for Barley Town? It would be fitting, but I'm not sure it is. Because they still have. Yep! They come yet again. And now Captain Larry will have to defend Ostsul from Marauder Chief Gorzog, Conqueror of Goblin Town. This will be quite challenging, actually. They're mostly generals. Wow. That's a. I've never seen an army composition like this before. Okay. Well, I mean, we. Yep. We'll have you. So. Quickly save it, we shall. I am thinking that looking at this army composition, we can probably get to disrupt their siege a bit with our cavalry, even though it will probably kill our morale if our general dies, but ah, I don't know. I mean, we have enough troops to cover the walls regardless of where they punch holes, but uh, okay, to start a Breland campaign with two major battles, uh, this doesn't feel right, folks. Now, I mean, we could put them here and just skewer them from the flank. That is definitely one way to go. The wonderful thing about this is that we could also tilt this ballistic to go over here and shoot at them from this side. Where is Gozog himself? Here he is. This is the unit we want to take out of the ballista more than any other. Because they are heavily armoured. And they dish out pain. To a quite unfathomable degree. Go on. I just want you guys to be happy. In coming away, yeah, you bleep. Come on, you sycophantic dickwits. No, no, no. Ah, no swearing like a sailor could persuade them to come. But that's enough about my sex life. So, um, do, 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 do. I mean, we could definitely do some good by also defending the square. We can't amass everyone around the gate anyway. 
So there's a school of thought that would say that we could hold the square here from the flanks. Just forsake this whole place. And try to lure them in. This way. I don't know. But this is also a pretty good choke point. Depends on if they actually go for it though. But I think they will. Let's keep our watchman in here. Yes, or as heavy a cavalry as Breland is ever going to get. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're going to go over there and hopefully say hello to the siege equipment they have. Either there or take a look at the catapults. The archers are manning rams, which is a great opportunity for us to do some damage to them without those pesky archers shooting back. So yeah, I am going to put my cavalry over here and take their catapults out first. <sighs> Come on, can nobody just walk in on this path? Hmm. Okay, Farmer Pikeman, why do we want you? Medieval 2 is nothing if not finicky on uh, the unit placement. <laughs> Greenway Spearman, you must be ready to step in when the Ballister crew needs you. Pikes, you will be required To hold. Because our bow guard needs to stand needs to stand around here. And then we need our Western defenders over here actually. And then we can have our farmhand pikes. Come on. Over here. That's good. Okay. And the Breedland Militia. You know, maybe we do need the Western Defenders elsewhere. We'll have them here. And then the Breedland Militia is going to be over here. Set up over there. Be on guard mode, please. This is how we're going to do it. We're not going to keep the dwarves on the same team because those are tactically aligned. Whereas these guys are kind of just doing their own thing. Let's see what those bastards do. The catapult's not even active. Huh. Well, wouldn't you know? Um, Bogards, why are you shooting the Bowser crew? Is that really the best use of your talents? I think it is not, so let's stop you from doing that.
They're punching holes here. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, we're prepared for them coming in at any point perpendicular to the gate. The charging cavalry is coming along, and they are indeed quite content to ignore it, it seems. Hello! Smash. Battle is very much in our Would you look at that? Victory will be ours. <laughs> they hardly, they didn't even bat an eye. We just charged into their rear, and there's eh, 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 whatever. That's amazing. Okay. Um, Orc Avengers, please. Can you do something about those? And the Greenway Riders will take out the catapults, please. Smash. Nice. And then run away. You can take out the Mountain Orc Hunters, why not? Smash! And indeed it is quite a smash. Very much in our favor. Well the done! Will be ours. Okay, good, good, good. And the Orc Avengers are indeed leading the pack. Okay. Cool. Let's see. What is the armor stat actually? 16! That is a lot. It's better to shoot someone less heavily armored then. At least with bows. Like the Black Shield Archers with 7. Dwarven Travelers, you can at least reach the Mountain Guard. Okay. I am under no illusion that we'll be able to kill... The enemy are battering down Girls our gates. in a cavalry charge, but if we could, that would be pretty incredible. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. All right, well. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy. Okay, okay. Let's brace for impact. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Damn it, the mountain guard are coming already. We were too late. Ah, I think we are losing the ballista. But let's see if we can uh, move them. If we can somehow get them out of that melee and over to the back of town, then I will be very, very happy. Come on! Fight for it! Wonderful men of Bree! Push! Push! Eh. You need more distance. I will give you that distance. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's our general. Let's get him out of there. Woo! Ha! His life hanging by a thread, but he's making it out. He's coming into the center. Oh dear. And we're getting the Ballista out of there. Good work, Greenway Guard. Oh. Spearman. Okay. I mean... You are essentially being sacrificed, but uh, it is a sacrifice worth making in this case. Set you up over there. And the travelers behind you. 
They will meet our most fierce resistance in the center. Would you please move? Get over there. Come on. Come on, guys. Hey, you don't have all day. Okay, Watchman Bogard, you need to run as well. Stout defender of this land. <sighs> okay, finally you're getting a move on. Oh, of course, we're activating a tower. That's also a nice thing to do. Those Orc Avengers are just tearing through us. We will now see them refocus their efforts against the Westron defenders. The Ballister is slowly moving. Slowly moving. We did put our weakest troops at the front, so it's no surprise that we're not able to hold them here. But we did kill 31%. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So far, that's not too bad. Considering that they're going to meet more resistance in here. Um, stand over there and keep from firing initially. Oh goodness, the Greenway Spearmen have been slaughtered, sadly. And the Western Defenders are not much different. Though they struggle bravely. Ah, well done, Farmer Pikeman, you made it back. And Palestine, you are almost there. <laughs> Come on. Okay, uh, I think it's time that the Western Defenders break. But we basically have the Ballista in place. That's amazing. Just in time too, because here goes nothing. Okay, time to refocus your fire, dear Ballista crew. Oh no, we're being attacked from behind. Sword guard. No. Axe guard. You will be required to assist our dear archers. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Very much in our favor? Is that really true? Come, Max Guard, show them what armor piercing means. Uh. Okay. Oh, that's good. Excellent. What I'm looking forward to more, though, is to see what happens 
when Only half our Oh goodness remains. no The enemy are badly Shazer. bloodied They have lost They broke the tide of battle seems to have turned against us That's not good Okay this turn of events Aim for the black shield archers hopefully we'll hit I mean with a bit of luck we will hit the faction leader or heir in the process Come on Give it a whirl Ooh, that's good. Yes. Those archers have brought bows to a siege fight. I mean, it's just as well because our infantry has been completely mashed to pieces. I think we're going to lose this town. Damn it. The enemy is no longer in command of the city. Okay, well, we've played our cards as well as we could. And now our captain shall spring into action. The enemy is no longer in command of the city. Our enemy has command For of the one city. last heroic charge. And another. Come on, get away. Run around them. Quick. Something changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost thirteen certain. Orc Avengers remaining. Come, dear Captain. I do not remember your name, but you are going to honor it anyhow. Our enemy has command of the city. They only lost the one general no so far. Ooh, the Orc Adventures are coming! Let's see what a cycle charging general can do in four minutes. I mean, he must die soon. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Our foolish oh, there he goes. Yeah. Perhaps our chances <sighs> we, we lost him. Today. Damn, and they healed half their losses because, of course, they do. But our Ballister took out a lot of, I mean, a lot of them. Happy with that. Damn, those Snow Orc bodyguards are strong. They outclass pretty much anything we have. With the possible exception of our merchant infantry because the, of their armor-piercing attribute, they could probably do a little bit of good against them, but... Man. Man alive. This does call, I think. <laughs> and their generals just split off. Okay. But we have a lot of troops relatively nearby. We have options. We will be back. And so, Master Barlaman, the Defender. <sighs> I'm gonna stick you. Dolgodur just refuses Have to acknowledge nice basic on, reality. Hmm. Orders. Yes, 
Yes. We can go no further today. Your will, my lord. Alrighty. Let's see. My lord. No? They do not disband into a recruitable bodyguard? Damn, I thought they would. Huh. Well. Well, there you go. I just thought we'd be able to recruit a new general, but there, but nope. Not the case, not the case. Orders. Yes, my lord. Well, I suppose it falls to no one, no other than Tom to take back that which was taken. Your will, my lord. My lord. As you wish. Orders. Your will, my So off we go. Orders. Um. Your orders, my lord. We leave behind the Watchman Axe Guard and start trekking through the land. Tomorrow. We'll have troops from these two forts and we shall also send all available forces from Bree. Yes. As you wish. Yes, my lord. With these forces together. Making camp here. Ostsul will be ours again very soon. Yes. Joining forces, Can snow alert, ready to upgrade. Good to see it. Good to see it. We gotta have some positives here. Dolvorn can build new stuff. Good, good, good. Uh, Traveler's Lodge? Nah. Nah. Let's focus on growth, and then public order, and income, and those kind of things. Mount Buka. Another conversion building piece, or maybe, ooh, yeah, Master Mason's Hall. Let's get that one down. Because otherwise, those uh, upper upgrades are going to take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot out of our time. Your will, my lord. This siege by equipment must be sent Arch north. It is needed. Later. We can go no further today. Any other glaring emissions in the building queues? We can build more good stuff at Argand, and then send off quality troops. Imladris, no longer building, but training a catapult, certainly so. Badvin. Yeah, this also gets some Ballastai. I mean, Lord knows we need to use Siege effectively, because in it is the one equalizer that we kind of have. Militarily speaking. Your will, my lord. My lord. And since we are threatened, As you wish. we shall Wait, muster forces here. where we can. Your will, my lord. By your command. Cobble shall as well. Is, my lord. Orders. My lord. No place yes. is completely exempt Arch from the draft. Continuing later. <sighs> okay. How are things going here in Karasast? Pretty good. Travelers Ray Station being built. 
These are nice things. What? We have the hunting camp. Can't we? Oh, we need 10% culture before we can drain them. Oh, I overlooked that. And we only have three. Well, okay. We'll get there quickly now. We'll get there. <sighs> there is the temptation to say that we should send grip west and just wait for Barliament to deal with the east. Your orders, my Eventually, we can also send Harry. Um. Your will, my lord. Which, yeah, it's not yes, necessarily a bad idea now that I think of it. Your orders, my lord. This I'm gonna stick you. They really like banging a lot of generals yes. into their armies, don't they? <sighs> Orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. As you wish. We can go no further today. Orders. Privateer cavalry, green riders. Well, at least a Privateer Cavalry. Let's yes. get you into a fort over there. We'll Put some free orders. upkeep. Yes, my lord. Without question. So, let's see. Can we go and deal with Gondor? Good to see you, my friend. I offer military access, and I, I will pay you a little bit. Three thousand. What do you say? I accept an honor and Wonderful. a pleasure. Farewell. Good, because then. My lord. Yes, my lord. Without question. We would hypothetically here. Orders. be able to. Ah, okay, of course. Naglur is, is blocking want? off Minas Tirith with a vengeance. Like the cretin he is. My lord speaks highly of you. My lord. Orders. But we could send. I'm I'm trying with the idea of. Purchasing Western Ascaliath. But lord. without the my guarantee of being able to actually will, have any my or lord. train any troops there, we would need to commit quite a few forces over there. Which is not really tenable at the moment. Spreading ourselves too thin would just invite Isengard invasion. At least with a city, you know, with towers and farmhand pikes <laughs> we would have the semblance of a defense Your will, my lord. foreign mercenaries a fine unit to be sure so are the landsmen Well, we will take back Ostsul. Yes, my lord. And Tom will then have to venture into the cold north to reclaim these lands for the hands of the free peoples. Orders. It falls to us to defend ourselves in these dark times. What is it you wish to discuss? Okay. I want to buy Alk food. You've, you've bankrupted yourself again. Your economic mismanagement is staggering, Dunland. Quite staggering. I'll give you 
50,000 for elk food. Do you think we hope for more fruitful parlay in future? Okay. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Well then. I shall hope for more fruitful parlay as well. What can we offer them though? Shiver skills and then ladders. Oh yeah, I suppose it's the only one we can get in the castle, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get it. Watchman Bogart and Barathvin. Not a bad call. Axe guard. Matrith upgradable. Yes, lovely. And the Basrathum. Ooh, this is good. This is good. I like this. That I'm comfortable with jacking up the tax rates a little bit. Up oh, there the bodyguards go. Good. So we will get them. There was just a turn's delay on that, apparently. Hmm. Under towers? Yeah, just continue on your trade and growth spree. I like it. I like it. In the name of Bree. The other one. Yes. Okay. Uh, trading plaza. Hmm. Any other needs? I mean, I'm going to say Royal Hall, then Trading Plaza. Bregost. Let's emphasize growth after the mines. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's going to be good. And Siduri, you are upgrading. Morvatoth has upgraded, and such a mercenary's lodge will be a lovely thing indeed. My lord. Hello, Todd. Oh no. Ah, uh, snuck into the wrong army because. I guess. Seven generals put together have a pretty high security stat. Sorry, Tom. A uh, Todd. Todd. Of course. Todd. We reduce corruption and increase our will, my lord. free upkeep. And then, you know, our markets should be pretty profitable here. And some extra growth never hurt anyone. Oh yes, we need Traveller's Rest, of course. We don't have a lot of culture here, so actually that's going to be a second priority. Lord's Hall, Traveller's Rest. There we go. Yes, my lord. Byrick has a lot of corruption, so we would do well to send a governor down there. Your will, my lord. Hmm. Now, the army will. Have a taste of my blade with honor. Ooh, hello. The army will march. I'm gonna stick you. Have a taste and in there sits Gurzog the Fearless. Well, maybe he should be a feared. Yes, my lord. Only drawback here. I mean, we have a lot of numbers, but we don't have a lot of siege. Glory, honor, victory. What do I say? I say. Zogdush? No. An honorable, glorious victory. Hmm. Your orders, my lord. We shall engage. What happens if we auto resolve? Ah, so that's okay. Glory, honor, victory. And then we kind of have them pinned yes, in all soul, which we will besiege. Orders, 
assembling a mighty and we'll send along some troops that will work well against armor okay yes my lord Lovely lads, head to Tirthuin. Your will, my lord. Yes. By your command, I would fight for hmm. your people as if they were my own. Good. Friend. Good, good, good. Progress is being made. <laughs> and the conga line from Dolguldur continues. Good lord. It never ends. Somebody has to stop this. Okay, um, I think Morvatarth is uh, somewhat threatened now. So why not send over some troops? And the Ballister crew? As you wish. We can go no further today. Your will, my lord. Yes. All the troops. Why not? Armies, my lord. Can what can we train here? Yeah, we can train do, 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 do. okay. And this means we could have these guys for free over there, so let's just do that. Yeah. That's good. I'm gonna stick um, you. Yeah. My lord. As you wish. Goody goody. Your will. Your orders, my lord. You know. Otto. You leaving Vile is viable, I'm going to say. So bring along your best forces. And head north. We, have we are, of course, still wary. Very much so. Of the Dunlendings. But with a little bit of reorganization, I assume that we can still hold our lands pretty well. Okay, and then Captain Charlie and Willy go together to Argond, where you will meet Haladin. And he might even join you. So... Yeah, I think he will. And good things will happen. He will head up uh, along the Trith. And then trek through Dunedain lands. And the Dunedain, they are not at war with the Snow Orcs. It would kind of help us if they uh, would get in on the action, but of course, we should not be complacent in such hopes. At your service, my lord. Dolgodur just keeps I'm sending sure armies. But they do have a vast realm, it seems. They will pound Baldur Town until it bends, but um, it shall bend to no man, no orc. We have the capacity to deal with whatever comes our way. <sighs> yes, my lord.
and new generals will be trained in Bree. Yeah. I guess that will be it for this turn. Sipping tea. Goodness, this episode is a bit intense. And it's coming to an end. Soon. And maybe we shall kind of close out the episode as we began. With the battle against the doomed Dol Guldur force. A little quick save for good luck and... Your courage, men. We march into battle. Off to man the catapults. To once again perpetrate... A uh, rather hostile act upon our invaders. Well, purely defensive, of course. And uh, let's toy around a bit with how we place these buggers. I think this is nice. Nice. Bogart here, Bogart there. Woodland hunters everywhere. Barlaman and his dwarven friends will take to the flanks yet again. You know, keeping our light troops over here is probably not the worst idea. But let's keep the Dunlending Pikes with the Lumbermen. I'm sure they'll go along swimmingly. We can't deny that good company is good for the morale of the men. And merchant infantry ready to step in and plug the gap. Eh. Let's revert a little bit. Like that. And then they can turn. And face. Lovely stuff. I think we're good. So come at me, Dolgodor. Show me what you're good for. Fired will by this day. Uh, but not like that. The enemy are battering down the gates. Crossbows are the only ones who will fire in this, I think. Because they have enough ammo, they will last the, the entire battle and then the some. Gates. Good. Now, I think we the can justify activating the archers. All will be lost. And, um... There we go. Let's meet them. Whee! It's a very interesting war tactic they've got going there. But I suppose that. Oh, there he goes. Press onward and break the spirit of Oh. We've captured the enemy's general. 
That'll teach the cowardly dog to turn Don't tail advance, and run. advance too far, dear infantryman, because you will die if you do. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Oh, Let's it is, uh, remains as such. It is remarkable, isn't it? Defensive stance activated because, uh, well, isn't this a defensive stance, everybody? I guess it is. Might be. They have lost half their men. Behold, how oh, and they all run. Runs. It's time Let's to just quickly pause attack. it. You don't fire anymore. You don't fire anymore. And uh, everybody just uh, mash yourselves into this. And uh, it's an all-you-can-eat goblin buffet. Ah! Didn't I say stop? I guess I didn't. Stop! <laughs> Before you kill out too many of our own troops. There's over 30% of the enemy army is still remaining and they're just running away. But they're just playing hard to get. Really? What are you doing? Ah, okay. I guess you did kill some of them. You didn't hit our own, so... Good job? Question mark? Thank you for not stopping though. Hmm. Now the biggest challenge now is to actually capture enough to render this army void. Which we might be able to do. There's another 34 over there. I think that'll do it. Nice work, infantry. You've also done a little bit. It's good to see. Orc Maulers serving off them over there. That's as close as we're going to get. The enemy are utterly vanquished. 86%. This is a great victory. Just clinched it. Only the mightiest of generals. We lost only 69 in defending our home, which is very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Especially considering the fact that we caused over 77... Over 80 friendly fire casualties. Essentially... We killed all that died on the field today. <laughs> yeah. So, the Dolgador army was about as effective as a cat flap in an elephant house. And if you get that reference, my dear friend, I salute you. Another ransom rejected. Another siege commenced. We stand vigil as the enemy surrounds us. The Yet another siege us. commenced. We are besieged. <sighs> but will the snow orcs never tire of this nonsensical war? Anorian is under attack. Again. But this time there is a defense force prepared for them. Your orders. Isengard are only enemies of Gondor. Uh. Okay. Is that what you want? I mean, Gondor Regions does find itself in a very. Tenuous position. But looking at this, it's not impossible that we'll be able to get some farmhand recruits <laughs> into that place. My lord. Your orders, my lord. My lord. Your 
will, my lord. Yes. Orders. Your will, my lord. Hmm. Let's give the Dunlendings one more go. Are, are they at war with anyone? I don't think they are. Oh, only the Northern Dunedain, and they can't reach them because of, well, us. Your Lord, you have a proposition for us? Yes. I would like our food. And I offer to you the regular tribute of a thousand a turn for ten turns. Lump sum, 80,000. What do you say? I must say, we are This not. meeting was disappointing. Goodbye. They are just not receptive to it. I think they feel yes, cornered no. by our strategy. Yes. And so we Making must change our tact. Further, camp here. Our tune. Your will, my lord. Not possible. Can't do it. To but our kingdom is the most advanced in the world. Hooray. <sighs> More siege. Yes, please. Another worker coming up in Kenneth Bryn. It will be welcomed with open arms. This time they bring siege equipment. Not that I think it can do much. That choke point is unalterable. Oh. And now we have Dunedain Rangers on our side. What an incredible addition to Bard Town's defense force it would make to get them up there. Merchant infantry from Michel Derving. Yeah, we'll send them along. Yes. We'll make camp here. Your will, my lord. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Captain Ted? Yes. Uh, oh, you can't be retrained there. Where can you? Do we have to go to, like, Matrith or something? Yes, we do. We do. Okay, your we'll go to Matrith then. We'll make camp here. For it is a unit worth retraining. Oh yes, these lovely folks at Koloniak are well worth getting along for the ride. My um, lord. Your will, my lord. All of them, really. My lord. Yes, orders. As you wish. Joining forces, my lord. We can go no further today. Bustradun builds farms. Perithan Loon, Great Hall. Yes. Very good, very good. Ah. <sighs> Good. So, I mean, overall, things are going pretty decently. It's only here in the north that things are a little bit oopsie daisy. Your orders, my lord. As oh, we didn't on. make yes. siege equipment for this one. I'm gonna stick you. you know what? Yes, my lord. My lord. Splitting Let's kick forces. away this guy. To battle. An honorable, glorious victory. As you command. Orders. By your command. And over there we go. Armies, my lord. Your attention is an honor, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes. We can go no further, my lord. Orders. All these troops, Lord. maybe except Orders. the bow guard. As you wish. We'll follow Otto. We'll 
train some landsmen, some foreign mercenaries, and some axe guard. Ah, oh, some dunlending pikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get those. We'll get those. My lord. Rowdy gets a telescope. Congratulations, Rowdy. And Alf gets a monster smith. Good things, good things. Certainly, good things. Yes, All right. Your will, my when Brathor comes along, he will be joined by Grip. And together they will head north. Because Lutash should be ours. Orders. And it will be. Quite soon. But for now, this is where the episode will end. So, as the war economy drags our finances a little bit, we do, however, still see progress. Gondor is continuing to repel Isengard up here and building up forces in the lands down here, relatively safe from enemy occupation by the virtue of us purchasing their land. And of course, giving them a whole bunch of wealth in the process to it, with which they can fund their comeback. And my hope is that this will usher in a new era of prosperity for Gondor. Uh, tracing their line, it is relatively stagnant though. But hopefully they'll be able to put their money to good use in the west and beat back Isengard where it counts. Though they are fighting them on two fronts. But uh, for now, at least, Gondor is safe. Until Isengard decides to attack at Dol Amroth. But for now, I think Dol Amroth have their hands full with DR of the Nime. That seems to be the case. Seems to be the case. And, indeed, those buggers are trying to retake Bad Han. Yeah. That time was not the safest play for us. <laughs> but at least we, we got Chaos Ast. We got Chaos Ast. Uh, perhaps another interesting option would be taking a place like the Land of the Porest over here. But we'll see. We'll have to send a diplomat over to see what we can do. Yes, my lord. But that'll not be now. That'll be next time, perhaps. Ah, for now, have a lovely day. Captain Total Waffle can syrupy out. <laughs>